So I really think that one of the first important skills that a WordPress developer needs to have is to know how to customize a WordPress theme. And we talked in the last quick guide video, which we'll link up, about how um, you can just use the additional CSS that came in WordPress 4.7 to add some basic CSS very, very easily um, and in a built-in way. Uh, so that's how I got my pinks going on here. But sometimes you need to make a child theme. Let's say you don't like the way this date is formatted. In order to change that, you need to actually get a little deeper into changing PHP files and all that stuff. And that starts, doing that in a good way, starts by um, creating a child theme. You can do it without creating a child theme. Um, I can just go into the 2017 theme itself, which is what I'm looking at here. And I can open up the single.php and I can just like, uh, that won't do it. I can just throw this here. Obviously, this is not the way I would make the change, but um, it demonstrates that the change has been made. And I can do that, and that works, but it doesn't look very good. It's not really what I want. Um, so instead, I should create a child theme. How do I do that? Well, it starts by creating a folder uh, in your themes directory, which is generally in WP content slash themes. Uh, and then you will give it a name. I'm going to just call mine 17 child. I could be a lot more creative, but I think it's nice to be clear about that. Um, and then inside of that directory, you need one file and that's a style.css file. This is the way that WordPress always finds out about a theme and discovers it. And it does it via this giant header block. So I'm going to copy to start this 2017 header block and I'm going to change a couple things. I'm going to change its name to 17 child. I'm not going to bother to change a bunch of this. We'll delete tags just because they're not necessary. Uh, we'll delete this line that's cute. Um, and we'll just change the description to 17 child. Obviously, you would probably customize this more. The core thing that I need to add, though, is the line that says template. And it says 2017. This is the line that makes us a child theme of 2017. Without this line, we're just a normal WordPress theme that is supposed to do everything. When we're a child, what happens is WordPress assumes that you're just customizing stuff and everything else it'll look for in the parent theme. So I can just add some styling via style.css and not change anything else. Um, I'm gonna get this in my clipboard real quick. Um, but right now I should be able to go in and change themes. And then I should see my child theme, I think I may have to refresh. Um, so if I go in here, yep, yeah, there we go. I can see 17 child, so I can turn that on and I can preview it. And we know it's a working theme, but we're not seeing any styling. There are a lot of different ways you can solve this. The, the easiest one in my mind is to do an at import URL, and then you need some quote marks, a double dot, which says go up a level. So we're in the 17 child folder. We're going to go up to the themes directory. Then we're going to go back into the 17, oh, sorry, 2017 directory. And again, just like the template, it's all one word jammed together. And then we're going to include their style.css. With that, if I refresh my page, um, I'm seeing my changes. So I'm, now I'm seeing 2017 as it would present this post. If I go back to the home page, it's look, gonna look like 2017. All that's going on, it's great. Uh, and then you'll notice that my, uh, my changes that I've made in the additional CSS area disappeared. If I put them back inside the style sheet on my child theme, then I will get my pinks back. I think I need to refresh for that to happen. Um, but now my pinks are back. So the additional CSS thing is specific to each theme that's running. So you could add these styles in there, but since you're already in a child theme, may as well put it in the style sheet. And this would allow us to say, if we wanted to make that modification we made to single.php earlier, we would then just copy and paste that file into our child theme directory. And then we can put, just for the sake of expedience, that gobbledygook back. And we aren't going to see it on this view because we were on the home page. Or we are. I lied. Oh, because we aren't on the home page. So if I go back to the home page, I won't see that gobbledygook, but I will see it on the single.php. 
So that is why and how you make a child theme in WordPress. It's not too hard. Uh, and it really is good for future proofing so that you can update the 2017 theme without losing your customizations to it. Uh, that's it. Hope that's helpful.